Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. One of Key West's most famous traditions is the Drag Queen Drop. My first guest this morning, Sushi, is always ringing in the new year in a giant ruby red high-heeled shoe. Only in Key West will you find this. At the stroke of midnight, he is lowered from the second floor balcony of the Bourbon Street Pub and of course gives everyone a memory that we just can't forget. 2013 will be Sushi's 16th Drag Queen Ball Drop. Sushi, it is so nice having you here on the show today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I am such a fan of yours. <laughs> I've watched you even before I moved to Key West. Oh, really? Have, I've watched you do that drag queen. Wow. Show. Now, Sushi, I mentioned that this is your 16th year yes. doing this, but how many years have you been Sushi? Uh, well, I've been doing drag for almost 28 years, mm -hmm. but I've been Sushi for about 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. For, for the first three years, I was known as Soy Sauce, but <laughs> thank God I got rid of that name. <laughs> I like it. So you went from Soy Sauce to, to Sushi. sushi yes. And here you are. You are so fabulous, Sushi. Thank you. Our viewers can see photos behind us. This is you and all of That's these me. <laughs> what is it like getting in costume and makeup? And uh, it's a drag. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right? <laughs> Literally a drag. Uh, your feet hurt. I don't know how women get up every day, wear high heels, mm -hmm. put on makeup. It's just a chore. It, but do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it once I'm in it, you know, mm -hmm. once I'm in it. But uh, it's the journey uh, getting into it that's sort of a drag. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do singing and dancing and all of that? I'm just a lip syncer. I cannot sing at all <laughs> so okay so you do lip singing but what's it like being up on stage in front of people and in your costume I mean do you feel like sushi or do you uh, yeah I definitely feel like sushi it's a, a totally different person mm -hmm. so I don't feel like me I don't feel like Gary Marion anymore mm -hmm. it's a sort of persona that I've you know worked on for the last 25 years mm -hmm. now obviously the drag queen ball drop this is something that is it gets national exposure yes. every year so much national exposure is this anything that you imagined would be happening? Never. I mean, if you would have asked me and like, you know when they asked you in sixth grade what you want to become, I would never imagine that I'd be on national TV <laughs> in a red shoe in Key West in drag, <laughs> uh, ringing in the new year. But I love it and I enjoy it. Um, and, and I'm glad to represent Key West this way. Mm -hmm. What did you want to be when you were in sixth grade, Sushi? I wanted to be a violist. Okay, okay. A concert violist. I played a viola. Uh, I joined the Key West Youth Academy, mm -hmm. and I'm mentoring young kids here in Key West playing the mm -hmm. viola, violin, cello. Mm -hmm. Now, well, you can still you can still be that, right? You can yes. Be a, well, we do two concerts a year, so. <laughs> okay. Sushi, so what's it like on New Year's Eve? How much preparation goes into weeks? The ball drop? Well, I start thinking about my dress as soon as I drop. I'm like, what am I going to wear next year? Mm -hmm. um, but it takes weeks to make my dress, so. Oh, so you make it yourself? I make my dress. I've, I've worn three dresses that I've store-bought, but I usually make my own dresses. Wow. Yeah. What is this year's dress going to be like? Can you reveal uh, anything? I can first? reveal the color. Okay, what is the color? It's um, neon day glow green. Oh, I love <laughs> it. I love it. And then the hair and makeup, how long does it take you? Um, well, last year I had my friend uh, Jonathan from Headlines do my hair, and we, I, I had this idea of making it out of horse hair. So I, I bought these two horse tails from China, and then we made this sort of wig headpiece sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it, it just all depends. Mm -hmm. But it, ta it takes a lot longer for New Year's because I really want it to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, you mission accomplished. <laughs> Each year you do, you look perfect. Do you get nervous, Sushi? Oh, yeah, I'm nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that crazy because you are so, you know, you're so flamboyant and you're so yes. fabulous. <laughs> I wouldn't think of you getting nerves at all. I think most performers always get nerves, mm -hmm. you know. Would you say you're a shy person? I, I yes, <laughs> definitely shy. I mean, if I was in drag right now, I'd be like, woo, hey girl, whatever. Mm -hmm. But as me, yeah, I'm, I'm more reserved. Mm -hmm. Well, you do such a fabulous job again every year. And hopefully <laughs> people can catch you, not just on TV, but yes. actually go down to the Bourbon Street Pub. Yeah, come join us. How many more years do you think you're going to be doing this? Uh, as long as they will have me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I hope till I die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being on this morning. It was great talking thank you. with you. 
And again, I enjoy you. I'm a fan of yours, so it's great <laughs> to, to see you and not in costume. Yeah, well, come on down to the 801 Cabaret. We mm -hmm. do two shows tonight, 9 o'clock and 11, every night of the week. Okay, wonderful. All right. Hopefully our viewers can check that out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back after these messages with singer Libby York. Please stay with me.